Hello, everybody. Uh, this is part one of my uh, of my project: how to simulate a wireless power transfer system uh, using uh, electromagnetic uh, simulation in Ansit Maxwell. And today, to continue the uh, project, today I will present part number two about uh, circuit simulation in uh, Montesim. So. To design a wireless power transfer system, firstly, we need to design the coil system in FEA simulation. And next, we need to import the Z results from FEA simulation in circuit simulation to estimate the transfer efficiency of a wireless power transfer system. So today, I'm going to discuss about the part two circuit simulation. Yes, and this is uh, after I finishing the simulate a wireless power transfer system in Ansit Maxwell, I have go went up, gone ahead to make this the uh, wireless power coil here. Here I use the least wire for each coil to have uh, to minimize the uh, its uh, resistance for each coil. And for each coil, I use ferrite, which is a black material here. The reason for using ferrite here is to uh, increase the uh, coupling coefficient between two coil, two coils, so that we can increase the uh, transfer efficiency. And in order to measure the inductance and resistance of this coil, I use impedance analyzers. The so called is the Isilian model uh, 4294A. This is the uh, powerful impedance analyzers because it can measure the impedance of any object from 40 Hz to 100 megahertz. And after measuring the coil system by using the uh, impedance analyzers, uh, I have. Uh, this is the parameter of the coil system. The inductance of uh, the coil number one, which is at the, at the bottom here, is 30, uh, 36 microhenry, and its resistance is 70 ohm. And the coil number two, which is on the top, is 70, 37 microhenry, with uh, resistance 60 milliohm. And this parameter is, text, uh, is taken at 85 kilohertz. Uh, because per SAE, the uh, 2954 standard, uh, this is standard for inductive charging for electric vehicle. And it states that the working frequency of inductive power transfer system for electric vehicle should be from uh, 81 kHz to uh, 90 kHz. So I take the middle frequency. 85 kHz here. And one more thing I would like to note is that I miss here is that the coupling coefficient K coupling coefficient K here equal to uh, 0 0.2 at uh, 150 millimeter transfer gap. Or we can have K e, the mutual inductance equal to K roots uh, time root square of L1 time L2. And it will equal to It will be equal to 7.3 microhenry. And I'm going to use this parameter in circuit simulation to calculate its transfer efficiency. Before 
go ahead to my security machine. I want to briefly discuss about different uh, topology or matching network that people normally use for wireless power transfer system. So yes, here is several basic uh, topology that we can find on literature and on the right hand side is double style LCC topology that people also use it a lot. For basic uh, topologies, here we have SS topology, SP, PP, and PS. S means the, the capacitor here in series with the primary coin. And the second S here it means the capacitor in series with the secondary coil. And the SP topology means that the, uh, the second uh, capacitor here is in parallel with the uh, secondary coil. And similarly for PP and PS. And for double side LCC topology, this is a high order uh, matching network. The reason for using the topology is that we can have more freedom. Uh, to determine the transfer efficiency as well as the uh, output power characteristics of the system. Uh, here, people call it uh, double side LCC because at each side we have the LCC, LCC uh, reactive component that uh, constitute a matching network. And the function of these uh, matching networks uh, is firstly, uh, we put the capacitor in the system so that the capacitance impedance cancel out inductance impedance at resonant frequency so that we can the impedance of the circuit is minimal at the resonant frequency. Because of this reason, for a given input voltage, the current is maximal so that we can boost the power transfer capability and we can increase the uh, transfer efficiency by properly select a rice matching network. Each matching network here has uh, pros and cons. And in order to understand about them, and understand, for example, uh, is voltage and current output characteristics a transfer efficiency, we should read some research paper about the theory of uh, this matching network. Uh, today, I would like to show an example that we use series series or SS topology or wireless power transfer system. Here I have uh, on the right hand side is on the left hand side is the uh, primary coil or the transistor coil. And the secondary on the right hand side is secondary coil or uh, receiver coil. On the primary side, we have a high voltage source voltage here and it will generate the current IS. And two coil here will be coupled by uh, a mature inductance M here. And because of the because of the uh, Faraday law, uh, I don't know, I don't remember exactly the name of the physics law, but uh, because we have a current on the primary coil, it will induce it will induce a voltage on the secondary coil, which is, which can calculate can be calculated by we induce equal to uh, j uh, angular frequency uh, multiply with the current multiply with mutual inductance and multiply with the uh, ion current here. So from, because of this uh, new voltage here, it will generate a current on the secondary coil and provide the power to the load resistance RL here. So as we can see from this formula, the higher mature inductance we have, the higher induced voltage we can have on the secondary coil. And as a result, we can transfer more power to the load, to the load we can have higher chance for efficiency. And for the series series to close here, the 
capacitor C on S and C to S can be calculated by this formula. C equal 1 over W square L, where the W is the angular frequency of the you know, excitation current, and L is the coil in inductance. And here is the parameter for L1 and L2. And F here, I select at 85 kilohertz. And from here, we can calculate its angular frequency. And one more parameter that I need here is that the mature inductance M equal 7.3 microhenry as we calculated before. So in the simulation, I will use this parameter to calculate the transfer efficiency of the system. Well, let's go ahead and do that. In order to calculate the transfer efficiency of the system, one of the software that I prefer to use is the uh, Monkey Sim. This software is very convenient when we want to calculate the transfer efficiency between coil to coil. It means the, cha the AC transfer efficiency. Uh, it is the efficiency that we and it uh, did not uh, include the it did and it did not uh, include the switching loss of the semiconductor. So, so in this uh, video, I only show you how to calculate the AC transfer efficiency from coil to coil. And this is the interface of the multi chip software. And as I can, as I will show you later, it is very convenient to calculate the AC efficiency of a wireless power transfer system. Firstly, we create open the multi chip and it opens it into paralysis. Let's save it. Save it to desktop. Wireless power transfer system. Circuit simulation. Yes. And here. Yes. Here. Okay. Before before making the circuit, I would like to input. And here, uh, I will introduce several about this software. Here is the working area that we uh, drag and drop the uh, circuit components such as inductor, resistor in here in display. And on the left hand side is a circuit parameter uh, where we can put variable for the circuit simulation such as inductance or resistance. Here we have the L1 is uh, L1 is 36 microhenry. I will put is the uh, I will put L is name as L1 here and expression at 36 microhenry here. Yes, and as you can see here, this software can recognize the UH as microhenry, and it will show 3.6 10 to the power of minus 5 and L2 here is 37 microhenry. R1 here is 70 million. It's, so it's so 0 0.07 ohm here. And R2 here is 60 microsecond. A certain mic million and frequency here is eighty five kilohertz and the angular frequency here is true time pi time f yes and here we can put the virtual inductance. And here is uh, 
poetry by Henry. And from M mutual inductance M here, we can calculate the coupling coefficient. K equal M divided by root square of L1 times L2. So we can have point two, the K equal point two, which equal uh, coincident with uh, the K value that we calculated before. And now we need to calculate the uh, uh, capacitor, capacitor value, like C1S here, equal to 1 over W, W square, W times W times L1. So here it will give us result in Farah here. It's, uh, so it is uh, 97 uh, nanofarad, as we can see uh, in this uh, result. And C2, C2S here, 1 over W times W times L2. And we can have 95 nanofarad here. And when we have this parameter, we can directly uh, put it in the circuit element. Okay. So this is a working space of, and it now it in the white color. It look not very. I don't like this uh, white color, so I can change it to. I can put some grid to here, so we can see it more easy. There's some option here, so to do that, and this is a menu tab. And here we have the option tab, and we can click on shape properties. Yes, here we can see, we can select to show the grid, like color workspace here, so grid. Okay, select it, apply. Okay, and you can see here, we have the grid on this, on our, in, our workspace here and now we need to make the circuit uh, on this workspace firstly here we can select either select place and component here on here there are a lot of components that is so off or you can select this here for example place basic place basic here you can click on and here we have many components here. here. Firstly, I will choose the resistance symbol here. And it will show the basic component like resistance and etc. Uh, basic virtual. Now I need to select the resistance. Resistor here. Okay, I have resistor here. I select OK. I either and I just right click on the group space to fix it and after that it will show up another component okay here and to close it on we just click close and here is our one and our true but uh, it's the default value we one kilo ohm so I just click on double click on that and here is a resistance value. I will replace the value with R1 as we uh, define in the circuit parameter uh, window. R1 here. And it will show, and after we click OK, it will show here. And this is the name of the. Here we have two R1 here. And the upper one is the name of the uh, register. And the below R1 is value. So if you want to change the name of the resistor here, we can click on the label tab. For example, we can define it at R1S. So we click OK, it will change to name R1S. Similar here for R2. I will select it name as R2S and value it R2. Okay. 
And now we will need to make uh, now we need to make inductor as a circuit. Select on this place basic or place component. And we select inductor and click select click any value here is okay because we will we're going to change its value later and cl click okay and here we can uh, press ctrl r to rotate the uh, inductor ctrl r okay here and select another one okay and ctrl r okay and click close here is our one. We can make its value as our one here. Okay. And we can OK. If we want to disable its name or its value, we can double click on the component and on the display tab here, we can select use component specific visibility setting. Here I can hide or so is label or is value for example i will show height is label uh, one here uh, l1 here i'm sorry i think so reference desk here i click it and it will hide out on here okay and here i have i will select it r2 and we'll hide it name here and click OK. OK, we have here. And now we need to another component we like is the uh, capacitor. Select it. Capacitor. And just click it, right click, to fix it in workspace. And here we also can right click and click OK. Now we put its value as C1S and we hide its name here. And it will become OK and C1S here. And here we have C2S and we hide its name. C2S here, now we have CJ here. And now the last parameter. Okay, here's the last parameter that we that remains is a voltage source and the load resistance. For the load resistance here, we can uh, select copy and paste. For example, click on the register on the workspace or that already show up on in the workspace. Uh, Press Ctrl C and Ctrl V, and here show register here, and we can click Ctrl R for rotating for rotating it, and select OK. Now here we need to change its name. So label we need to change its label RL here, and I also change its value as RL here, and click OK. We saw an expression contained in correct syntax or undefined parameter. Unable to interpret RL in the expression. So, uh, did errors uh, tell us that JIT RL is not defined yet in the circuit parameter window? So, we should, uh, do we want to continue? Yes, click OK. okay. And here I will hide its name here. Just click OK. And here now we can define the RL value. For example, we can define it at uh, 50 ohm. Uh, just for now, we can define it value like this. But later on, we can make a parameter script for load resistance. And the last component that we like is uh, voltage shorts. For voltage shorts, I will define its voltage here as like 100 volt. Okay, select OK, just save it. 
Bây giờ không có thể Wait in subordinations Shots We Here under the group tab here We select uh, We can Click on the On the pop down menu here And select the shots Sources And here we have Control voltage short and control current shorts. And we select control voltage shorts. Here, no, no control voltage short. Okay, just uh, select the power sources. And here we can select either AC voltage short or DC voltage shorts. We select AC voltage, AC power here. Select OK. Click OK and close. And we need to set up the parameter for this uh, element, for this source. So, the dub double click on that. And see, like, what is for this IMS value? Here, I will select it as VS. Okay. And frequency here, we will select as F, which is 85 kilohertz. And delay, so put it as default. I see an acid magnitude, I will also put it at VS. I see, I see an acid phase at zero. Okay, so put it like this. And display. I only want to. Okay. I will change its name as VS here. Okay. Here we have VS, VS, F, and zero degree. Double click. On that I will hide its name so we can hide one VS. Okay, now we already have all the element that we need. So we need to now we need to make the connection for it. So to do that we just hang over the mouse around the component terminal. So we it will so the the cursor we change to the cross uh, symbolize it and right click on that and drag and drop okay so we have the, the wire connection here like this okay now here we already have a complete circuit we need to simulate it so Yes, here to simulate it, we can either click on the simulate tab here, or run. And now we need to simulate uh, what kind of simulation that we need. To do that, I will click on the inter interactive uh, bottom here in the menu bar. I click on that and it will show different uh, simulation type that you need. For example, interactive simulation. Interactive simulation is that it's either a uh, real runtime simulation. It means that it in this the uh, in the workspace it will show all the value of the voltage and current. And in addition to that, we can select AC script. It means that you can select the start and stop the voltage script, uh, start and stop uh, frequency, and we can select the parameter script. It means that we can, you can change the parameter of the circuit here, such as uh, a coupling coefficient or load resistance. Okay, the the one thing that I like for for my simulation here is that uh, I just cancel it. Now we need to make a mutual inductance that coupling between two coil or one and two here. So I select place basic. Inductor Inductor here It's not here I think it's in the transformer Transformer section here is the transformer here So here yes on the transformer tab the different type of uh, coupling coefficient that we can see like for example Couple inductor or inductor coupling. I will select it on, select OK, and put it on the circuit. 
Okay. And we can double click on this virtual inductance here. Select its value. Click on its value. On the first line, corporate inductor list, we need to list the name of the inductor that we want the that we want they can cope each other. For example, here select L1 and L2. And coupling coefficient here, we need to input the is coupling coefficient as k. Here because we already defined the coupling coefficient as k here, we just need to define the k here. And we can click OK. OK, and this will show up L1, L2, and k here. And now we can. So in order to for interactive interactive simulation, it can show all the voltage and current value or power on the workspace. So we need to select prof for that purpose. For example, for this prop here, I can click the voltage prop. I select on B here. And we can select on the voltage short. One more thing I want to, I am missing here is that is a ground, is a ground of the system. So that we need to select, uh, we need to define what is the ground of the system so that the voltage can be referenced on that ground. So here I select this play short here, play short uh, menu bottom here, and it will show on this system. So up here, and we select ground here, and click OK, and close. OK, and we just connect it. Now, when we put the V1 uh, voltage prop here, so it will show the potential of the system with reference of this ground. However, for the load system, because we want to measure the load across it are L, so we need to select a differential probe. If we select a single and a probe here, so this V, uh, this PR2 meter here, we saw potential with with reference to this ground. So we we need to delete this probe and select a differential voltage by PR2, and here it will show reference one here so this prop will show the voltage between reference one plus and reference from one minus here and we can select the current for uh, like here we can put it here current on the primary coil and the current on the secondary coil and we can see Calculate the power of the system here. Like we can select the power prop here, and we need to click it on the on the component that we want to calculate the power. Like PR five here, okay. And here we also can calculate the power for the source. Like PR six here. So now I think we can go ahead and simulate the system. So in this case, when I click on the run uh, bottom here or F5, there is no power transfer to the secondary. And the current and the power on the primary is very high. Here the power of the source is 34.6 kilowatt, and the current is up to 703 m ims so the problem problem here is because uh is a uh, coupling coefficient setup here we define it at k where k is 0.2 in circuit parameters window however in multi sim i think that in multi sim car is already defined inside the software so so if we define k here maybe the software 
cannot understand so i will change this uh change the name of coupling coefficient from k to p coupling hit ok simulation is running any change you made in design will not take effect until you restart the simulation we click ok stop simulation and here i shall change the name k to k coupling as well now we we'll hit uh, simulation again run again okay as you can see here now the result showing up now the power source uh, source power is 24 kilowatt and the loss power is 19.5 kilowatt so what is the uh, efficiency Here is 19.5 divided by 24. So the efficiency currently is at the 1.25 percentage. And if we increase, uh, what will happen if we want to increase the uh, coupling coefficient? Like here, I want to increase the uh, coupling coefficient by double it like I increase uh, mature units by a uh, factor of two and the coupling position into increase to 0 0.4 and click simulate again now is the power of the source a reduced to 7.67 and the load is power a 7.25 Lord. So what is uh, efficiency? Seven point twenty five divided by seven point sixty seven. Now the efficiency is twenty four point five percent. The reason why when we increase the uh, uh, mature inductance the load power and the source power reduced is it because that when we increase the when we increase the mature in the mature inductance the back emf or the induced voltage from secondary side to primary side increase and why we keep the voltage short content so when we increase the back emf so is current on the primary side reduced to 77 ampere so that we can reduce uh, so that it will reduce the uh, output power of the, the source and because we increase the uh, mature inductance and coupling coefficient the two coil here coupling more efficiently and it will increase the uh, efficiency of the system now stop the simulation now we want to now i will show you that we can have parametric swift in multi sim for example we can increase the coupling coefficient to see how the efficiency change or we can increase the, or we can vary the load resistance to see how the efficiency depend on the load resistance to do that I click on the interactive uh, bottom here. Sorry. And we can click on parameter squiff. Okay, here, for example, here we have the de device parameter. Yeah, device parameter here, we can select the device type we can select like mature mature k1 no oh no i think no no it's not device parameter circuit parameter i i change it to circuit parameter and here is a parameter one i see i select k coupling okay 
and here its current value is 0 0.4 as you can see on the circuit parameter window here and now I we can change it so we can start it from 0 0.1 here you need the uh, milli and um, milli so we select it to change it to yes I think so it's uh, unity on so we can change it to point point eight for example okay and we can set the number point here for example I can say the like number point 20 so it will show the increment between two steps and we turn the coupling version so analysis here we have uh, more option analysis to swift we see like a single frequency I will see like it's a uh, single AC frequency and click on the edit tab here we will uh, define at which frequency you want the uh, parametric swift to calculate the transfer frequency we can see like here is uh, a define color set or you or we can Put the or we can hit the auto detect here, it will automatically detect the working frequency of the system of the power source. Here is 85 kilohertz. I'll put a complex number for my S. Okay, and we just keep it as it is and click OK. Here we want to display the result on the graph. Okay, good, and we next go to output tab here it will show it all the output parameter of the prop for example we have two current prop and two power prop and two voltage prop here but we don't want i don't want i just want to see how much efficiency vary with the coupling coefficient so i remove them all here and i add expressions here I can add explain as the expression uh, line here. I can input 195 rear part, rear part of the load power. And I copy variable to expression and divide it by rear part of the source power the reason why I use rear here is because uh, uh, here we have PRL and PVR VS it means that Z prop will Z option will measure the power of the source and the load however I think that it will both measure the reactive and active power so here I use I only need active power to calculate the efficiency so that I use the rear, rear part of load RL and rear part of VS here. Now I hit OK. OK, and now I hit run runs. What happened here? The chance for efficiency is negative value here. And imaginary part is zero. Almost zero. However, the real part is in negative. And it reduces. And it's uh, approach the 100 minus 100. So I think I need to set up this one again. I click on parametric sweep again. And edit. And I hit the edit analysis so here complex complex number format the output here I will change it to magnitude and phase and hit OK OK and save and hit run again now the interval active chain to parametric swift now I hit run again Okay, here you can see this is the results for circuit simulation. The transfer efficiency between short between 
uh, the charm piston coin and receiver coin when we change the coupling coefficient from uh, point 0.1 to point 0.8 so the chance for infancy here here is a uh, the background in black color we can change it to white color here and we can add the grid so grid to this thing I will keep the black color black color so several comments here firstly when we increase the cope Coefficient the chance for efficiency increase quickly and is approached near 100% when the coupling coefficient is high. So, this is, uh, this is expected when we increase the coupling coefficient or mature inductance, the chance for efficiency will increase significantly. Yes, and I will close this. And some nice simulation, I want to investigate how the load resistance will uh, affect on the efficiency of the system. So I hit the parameter sweep again. Here is the circuit parameter sweep uh, parameter. I change it to device parameter. And device type here, I choose register. And I choose name the RL here, parameter resistance. Present value is 50 ohm for RL. And I want to investigate from 10 ohm to 100 ohm. Yes. And the number of point is 200, uh, 100 for example. And this is an increment. Unless it's too swift, I still choose single frequency AC at 85 place and keep everything as it is and hit run run again simulation is running when RL resistance change from 10 to 100 ohm yes it finished so here you can see when we change RL from 10 to 100 or 10 ohm, you can see it uh, higher than 98% and when the load resistance change increase to 100, 100 ohms, the efficiency drop quickly to under uh, 90%. So this is the characteristics of the uh, of the series series uh, resonant topology of the wireless power transfer system. For wireless power transfer system with a uh, series series uh, capacitor connected like this, when we increase the uh, load resistance, the transfer efficiency will drop quickly, and this is one of the characteristics of this topology. To understand better about this topology as well as others. I encourage you to read some uh, research paper on this topic so that you can have a, bet, a good understanding about the characteristics and chance for efficiency of different topology. Uh, thank you very much all for, for watching my uh, video. Uh, if you have any comments or any questions, please, uh, please add in the comment uh, section below. And I'm happy to answer you. And if you like my uh, video, please uh, click like and uh, subscribe so that I can serve you better. Thank you very much.